Hi, and welcome to the radio production sessions with me, Bronwyn. At the wireless, we use a great broadcast program called Jazzla Radio Star. And the good people at Jazzla allow you to download a demo version of the program so you're able to get familiar with Jazzla. If you haven't already, please go and visit the website address at the bottom of your screen, download and install the Jazzla demo. Right. Let's have a look at the studio side of Jazzler Radio Star. When you look at the Jazzler studio screen, you'll see three really definite sections, the left, the middle, and the right-hand side. Now, the left side of the screen shows you what's on the playlist for broadcast. There's a blue column of buttons from top to bottom, starting with an arrow labeled next, and then under that you have fade, and then the numbers one through to six. Next to each number in the blue column is a dark gray slot. Now, this is what will display the information on what is loaded into the broadcast list for broadcast playout. Right, let's go to the middle section. The middle section default view allows you to see what's already been played out, as well as where the next breaks are scheduled, and if there's been any errors during the broadcast playouts. The middle section is also where you can modify what's added to your broadcast list, as well as have quick access to information and the internet. Now there's a column of green buttons, each with a specific icon and name, change, monitor, info, breaks, playlists, instance, and then of course your browser. When you click on one of these green squares, you'll see that the middle section changes its display and the various options that are then chosen are available within that function menu. So let's have a look at change, for example. So I click on change and you'll see that middle section then displays a whole new window with a lot of different options that are related to that particular change menu. When I need to get back and display those green buttons in the different options again, you'll see there's a red button at the bottom here with a big arrow labeled exit and you click on it and it takes you back to the default view for the middle section. So far so good, let's move to the far right of the screen. This is where you have access to your station imaging, your sweepers, your IDs, your power drops, sound effects and so on. There's also quick access to specific folders. Let's say, for example, there's a news broadcast or news audio commentary that has just been uploaded to Google Drive that needs to be played out, um, as well as some playlists that need to be added uh, into your broadcast list. Then you'll be able to access these from the different menus. And then we have what we call our instance, our little palette over here. And those will be where you click on one of them and uh, whatever is loaded in there will then sweep, it's your radio sweepers, your station IDs and uh, your power drops and so forth and sometimes sound effects as well. And then just to finish off our overview, in the top right hand corner we've got the transport controls. These should be pretty familiar. We have your play and stop, pause, we have a restart and a loop mode. Well, there you have it. That's a quick overview of the basic layout of the Jazzler Radio Star Studio screen. In the tutorials to follow, we're going to take a more in-depth look at each section. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time.